something just happened. I just found out before the stream that happened in Iran. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, there are two mullahs that were attacked with iron um, rods. Oh my God. Beaten by iron rods in Iran <sighs> uh, to the point of trying to kill them. Okay. And it seems oh like God. these attacks, yeah, it seems like these attacks were just because they were mullah. Wow. Right? Because so the first one. So the guy was on his phone. The first mullah was on his phone, and he was he was the Friday. Let me see. Yeah, this is in, happened in Qom, and one of them was the leading Friday prayer, right? The, the leading imam of the uh, Friday prayer, right? I don't know how you say that in English, right? Uh, but he was just talking on his phone, and two young men. Let me just see if I. I'm just reading his impression. Um, yeah, two young men just came out with iron rods and starting to beating the crap out of him. And the other mullah was in his car and he couldn't believe what's happening. So he got out of his car and he tried to, he called them out or something. And the, as soon as the two other young men saw that he also has a turban on, they started attacking him as well. Okay. Oh my God. So, yeah. So this is up, like the anti Islamic sentiments in Iran is growing so much. And it seemed like, again, things might change and there might be other motivation. But as of right now, I don't know if you guys want me to read the report. As of right now, it seems like it's just because they're mullahs, because they had turbans on. And young Iranian people just wow. hate them so much and see them responsible for all their misery in Iran that they're putting their anger and expressing it like this. Okay, So I thought I should be condemning this, right? Like, mm -hmm. I don't know. I thought it would be because we keep telling, I mean, I mean, some of us at least keep telling Muslims that they're, they're responsible for condemning any attacks that Muslims do on ex-Muslims and stuff. I don't know if that's fair or not, but if that's what expected of Muslims, I think that, especially because this, these were done by young Iranians uh, and it seemed like anti-Islamic Iranians and I'm both Iranian and anti-Islamic at the same time. So I thought it would be, I don't know. Do you think like, I, I think I should, I mean, I'm condemning this right now. This is horrible. Obviously this is disgusting. This is a crime. Mm -hmm. These people should be arrested. These people should be going to jail. This is not how you express. They your, should be tried for anger. attempted murder. Yes, exactly. Um, obviously I condemn this, but do you think, do you think it's a responsibility for us to come out and condemn something like this or is it just a good idea? What do you think? Oh, we got to, I think it's it's very I think it's helpful. I think it's very helpful mm -hmm. to do so. I don't think it's necessarily a requirement, but I think ugh, part of this draws into the larger things that are happening in Iran and like your feelings about it. I think it's particularly helpful for you as someone who does oppose the regime, but who does want a better life for Iranians, like to come out and talk about why this is unacceptable. Because that sort of behavior and that sort of attitude needs to be modeled for more people. Like you say all the time, like if the regime was to fall, you are scared. You are deeply scared about the blood that will run in the streets for the people who are religious. or Yeah. And I think that's a legitimate concern. And so I think, yeah, I think it definitely needs, your attitude needs to be modeled. So I think it's very helpful. Hmm. So, so one of them, one of the mullahs is saying, one as soon as they saw that I have an amame, which means the turban, uh, they attack. They started attacking my car, and started breaking my windows. So, God, that's and terrifying. then I got up, and then I got out of my car. So the first mullah was outside talking on his phone, and they, he saw that he was in his car, and I think they waved at each other. And he just saw two young men coming in and uh, hitting him, hitting that. I literally was like, what the hell is happening? And then let me actually read the exact what, what happened. Yeah, that's exactly what I said. Um, yeah, as soon as they, those two young guys saw that I also have a turban in the car, they started attacking the car and started bringing down his windows. And then he got out of the car and then he start, they started beating him with the same iron rods. So like, wow. 
Yeah, so it doesn't seem like there was any personal grudge or anything before that they had specifically with these two guys. It was specifically because they were just mullahs. Um, so yeah, these are these people. And I, I honestly, I, I also think like we should say that obviously we hope that these people recover. Obviously, don't we don't think these people deserve anything like this? Obviously, like, I mean, these are they obvious just statements. A traumatic brain injury, like they're never going to be the same. Yeah. Okay. So the, in the live chat, for, okay. So guys, like, I, I just want to show you how bad this, how common, like a lot of people, are like, oh, not that many people on our side think like this. It's not true. There's a lot of people like on our side that actually are like this. I mean, one of them. I mean, right in our live chat. Like, look at this. Like in our live chat. We have a username called there is no god and he or she saying i hate that i am not sad about it okay i mean it's good that you hate that but the fact that you're not sad about it like you're seeing a fellow human being being beaten to to with a with an attempt to beat them to death like this should be you should be sad about it i don't know like this should this sh I, mean, I mean i'm glad that you know that there's a problem that you're having a problem mm -hmm. that you're not sad about this. So at, at least you you acknowledge that this is not a good thing, right? And then we have... Yeah, go yeah ahead. I want to address this comment. Triash Singh is saying, is it necessary or ne is it necessarily that they are were ex-Muslims, though? Like, they could be young, quote-unquote, progressive Muslims that see them as un-Islamic. I... Okay, here's the thing. We didn't make any claim about whether the attackers were ex-Muslims or not. If anything, they're just... They seem to be very anti-regime. And especially in Iran, visibly religious people are seen as an extension of the regime itself, essentially. Mm -hmm. So they often, or this could be an instance of taking out the anger and frustration with the regime out on just a, a person that they seem, they, in their opinion, is representative of the larger government itself. Yeah. Um, I mean, there's a lot of gray in between, okay, but a lot of, uh, there's a lot of overlap between people who are anti-regime and anti-mullah and people who hate Islam. Okay, there, there. That's not necessarily the same, but you wouldn't be surprised. Like, you would be like, oh, that's like okay. So let me tell you, like, it's obvious. It's it's possible. Like, for example, that these people were Muslims themselves, right? And they consider like, oh, I hate these guys because they're like making islam look bad or something like that but if that's the case it would be somewhat surprising not very surprising but somewhat surprising i think most people with their understanding most iranians are with their understanding of how different uh, different people's views are they would expect the if these people to get arrested for these people to hate I don't know anything that is associated with islam or religion i'm not saying that's necessarily the case but i'm just saying that's probably what you expect to get I, and again i don't know which one of these it's possible that they're like no i love muhammad but these people are not as muslim or these mullahs are like destroyed like if that's also possible yeah it's fair to say that but at the end of the day whether they're um, progressive muslims that hate mullahs or just anti-islamic people that consider anything islamic as pro-regime um the, it is an anti-regime uh, or anti-mullah or anti-islam view and I represent all of those views. Okay, so I don't know which one of these are. Whether it's anti-mullah, uh, or anti-regime, or anti-Islam, I hold all those views. So I, whatever, which one of these are, okay, I condemn it. Okay, um, so I don't know which one it is. Um, yeah. So uh, by the way, guys, let me know if, in the live chat. Do you think that I have a? What are you, what are your views? Okay, so I saw this. And I thought that I, some people would think that I have a responsibility to come and condemn this, okay? Which one is it? Do I have a responsibility as somebody that might share the view of these attackers to come and condemn this, which I have done right now, I condemn it. Do you think that was a responsibility of me? Or it's not a responsibility, but it would be a good idea if I do it, or neither. Like, if, like you're just like, no, I mean, you're wasting time. Obviously, this is a bad thing. It doesn't need to be said. Like, why are you wasting? Why are you telling us that beating up people with iron rods is a bad idea? Like, are you like, are you, why are you insulting our intelligence? Like, obviously, this is a bad thing. So, let me know what you guys think. Hmm. Um, actually, yeah, I was saying this is, yeah. Oh, go ahead. Oh no, you were you wanted to say something? I think it was interesting what you were. About no, to no, say. it wasn't a fully articulated thought. 
Okay. Oxymore is saying this is the first time I've seen I've seen these kind of attacks outside of India. Um, there are predictions that these types of attacks are going to uh, increase in Iran. Uh, we already had a, a knife attack on two mullahs, a couple of... Mul no, it was uh, like two or three mullahs were... There was a stabbing attack. Was yeah. it in Esfahan? I think it was in Mashhad. I forgot. I think... But... Yeah. And now we have this, and some people are saying this is only going to increase. So we don't know. Anyways, Anyways so there's that. Beep Boop is saying that you have responsibility, but because you're an activist. You are activist, not random person, so you do have responsibility. Interesting. Interesting. Hmm. Oh, well, I don't know if I have a responsibility, but if I do, I have just fulfilled it. So there you go. I have done it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah, but I really hope these people recover. I hope, like, I don't know, like the the first guy that was attacked, he's been hit by the in the head by the iron rods, and that's not good at all. So, Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder Armin Abhabi blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.